Hey Walleye Wisdom Watchers, this is Gary Spiker reporting from Escanaba, Michigan. Up here in Little Bay to Knock, and uh, bumped into our good friend and local guy, Joe Okada. Now Joe, what's the story? What are you going to be doing up here on the bay? I'm going to be looking for the big old walleyes that live up here. Uh, we just got up here a couple days ago, so we're about as green as you are as far as uh, trying to figure out what's going on up here. When did you get up here, about a day ago? Yeah, we just got up yesterday and got on the water for the first time last night. Awesome. I saw a picture of a nice one on your camera. Yeah, we did catch a few so last night. Pick your brain a little bit. Maybe I can jump in on your honey hole for a night or so. You certainly may. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. How many years you been coming up here, Joe? Oh boy. Uh, my dad took me up here on my 16th birthday. Um, I don't even know how many years ago that was. Way too many years ago. Well, how old are you now? I'm 29. So let's oh do some my, quick math. 13 years. 13 years. And ever since then, I've been coming up here and uh, try to stay about four to six weeks a year up here. Yeah. So, uh, so can't get away from it, though. I love oh, it up here. Okay. Well, for the folks that might have an interest in going out and fishing with you this season, uh, what's the best way for them to reach you, Joe? Um, you can reach me through my website, uh, joeocada.com. Uh, contact me through my contact form there, or uh, just give me a shout on my cell phone, 608-575-8597. Yep. Um, but uh, this, this month is, is pretty much full, but uh, in the future, if anyone would like to go, just uh, feel free to give me a shout. Absolutely. And you're going to stay here how long, do you think? Oh, uh, till I can't break any more ice with my, my little Oh, no, okay. Kidding. No, it, it, we go till about the first or second week of December, and then we call our quits. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, it, it, it gets good. You know, it, it, from here on out, it's just going to get better and better, I, I, I'm assuming. Okay. So it does every year, and uh, we just like to push it till the bitter end. That's uh, something. I know yesterday we were talking about you saying this was a transition time up here. You want to tell our watchers a little bit about what's going on on the water up here this time of year? Well, this time of year, for, for several years now, um, there's, it's been lacking a, a solid day bite out here, you know. And part of that's been attributed to the water clarity and other a few other factors. But uh, the last couple of years, you know, a, a decent day bite has been trickling back down into the bay here, okay. especially north of the Narrows in the Gladstone area. Yes. So, uh, you know, that's going to open up a lot of uh, a lot of other opportunities to get out there day or night time to, to have some really good fishing out here. Oh. So, um, uh, we, I like to fish deep out here. I, I really like to fish deep. But there is a good shallow bite going on at night right now, you know, in that three to ten foot zone. Okay. And uh, so we'll be concentrating on that for the next week or so, but uh, I, I can't stay away from the deep water for too long. Well, now the deep water bite, uh, without giving away your secret spots, uh, how deep of water are you normally running for that? Uh, twenty to forty feet. Okay. So. Okay. Um, there's there's a couple deep water slots up there up north that um, have always been good since I've been coming up here, and uh, now that that day bite's going to be kicking in again, hopefully again this year. Uh, we can we can start knocking on that door again. Good. Well, so. thanks for taking the time to visit with us, Joe, and uh, to talk to our walleye wisdom watchers okay. all over the world. And uh, folks, if you want to have a have a good time on the bay, call Joe. Joe, why don't you give him your cell number one more time, pal? That's six zero eight five seven five eight five nine seven. Hey, thanks for visiting with us, Joe. And, no problem, Gary. Uh, yeah, hopefully we'll catch up with you before we leave again. Thanks, I'm sure pal. we'll bump boards out there sooner or later. Hey, I'm sure we will. <laughs> thanks, Joe. Take care, guys.